Yet in 1927, Selassie was able to summon the warlords, one at a time, to come to Addis Ababa to declare their loyalty and recognize him as leader. Some hurried, some hesitated. But only one, Dijazmach Balcha of Sidamo, dared defy Selassie totally. A blustery man, Balcha was a great warrior, and he considered the new leader weak and unworthy. He pointedly stayed away from the capital. Finally, Selassie, in his gentle but stern way, commanded Balcha to come. The warlord decided to obey, but in doing so, he would turn the tables on this pretender to the Ethiopian throne. He would come to Addis Ababa at his own speed, and with an army of 10,000 men. A force large enough to defend himself, perhaps even start a civil war. Stationing this formidable force in a valley three miles from the capital, he waited as a king would.